Hello everybody, and welcome to another video. Now, um, I know this is not a gaming video, which it should be, or something. And now, I had said on an other channel that I've made, that I mostly used to comment and actually watch videos on. Like, uh, my other, when I have so many people that I've subscribed to, I kind of just, on my, on this channel, I just upload the videos, and then on my other channel, I actually watch and, uh, comment and stuff. That's the, I don't know why it's called the Chung Fu F Monster, I didn't mean to put that, but whatever. Um, that's where I said I was going to start doing movie reviews and video game reviews, and just do, you know, the gaming videos on here, and like important vlogs here. But, there's a game that I really want to talk about, that, you know what, I'm just going to put on both. So, you know, and that game would be Mass Effect. This is the Mass Effect Trilogy Collection with uh, all three games. Now, I don't know how to explain it. Like, these three games are amazing. The third game's ending is shit. I'm sorry for cussing, but it, it's shit. But they have a DLC, which is much better. So, if you ever buy that game yourself, play it till you get to a part. It's not really a spoiler, because I'm not saying what happens. All I'm saying is that in the third game, there's a part where you're going to see like a little kid whose name is the Catalyst. That's all I'm going to say. But when he starts talking to you, know that that's pretty much where the ending is. So what you need to do is not do that. Just stop playing the game so you're happy with yourself. Go on YouTube and just look up Mass Effect 3 DLC endings. And then whichever... or You have to go listen to him talk to. He gives you three choices. Then you decide which choice you want, then go on YouTube and look up that choice, but on the DLC. That way it's a much better ending. And that way you will feel much happier about the ending you get, instead of the crap that you get if you just finish that game. So don't do it. But the road to Mass Effect is one of the most emotionally gripping things I've ever experienced. So in Mass Effect 1, you are Commander Shepard, and you can be a boy or a girl, doesn't matter. You can, you can make yourself... You can make it look more like you, but I kind of stick with the generic, uh, just what he looks like on the cover, because when I try to do it, he ends up looking all fucked up, and it doesn't look good. So I just keep it to the generic, how he looks on the, on the box cover version of him. I don't try to alter his face at all, and make it look like me. So, you go on a whole journey, throughout the first one and second one, and it's just, those two games are amazing. And the third game is amazing too, don't get me wrong. It is good. I'm just specifically talking about the ending, which is crap. But they luckily made a DLC for it, which made it much better. So, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. It was just one of the most amazing games that I've ever played. And I highly suggest if you have an Xbox Series 60 or a PS3, you get it. It's, it's worth your time. Um... And, uh, there's a guy named Garrus in that game, and he's probably one of my favorite characters. Like, I have friends, and I love my friends in real life. But this guy in the video game, he is literally, like, if he actually existed, he would be my best friend. Like, I have never felt closer to anybody in my life. I was closer to him than my romance in the game. Because we were just that good of friends. Like, I... I like liked his personality, and I wish I met somebody that was exactly like him, because I think we would get along great. But, yes. So, I don't know how long I was trying to make this. I don't even know exactly. I'm, I'm not, I don't really do that good of reviews. I'm not really trying to do a review for the, this, really, I guess. If you want to see a good review for, for Mass Effect, just go check Jeremy Johns. He, he's done it. But, I mean, I guess I just want to kind of rant about the fucking shitty ending! And then the great, great road that was Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. It was truly, and it, it just made up this universe that was just so amazing to get invested in and care about. And there's a new game calling out, Mass, a new calling out, a new game coming out called Mass Effect Andromeda. And I'm really looking forward to that. I probably won't get to play because I only have an Xbox 360. I still have an old console. I don't have an Xbox One, so I probably won't be able to play a new one. But you can bet your ass I'm going to watch a YouTuber play it or something. I'll do that. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know what else I was trying to say, but if you ever get the chance to play, please go check it out. It's well worth your time. Even if you're a girl, you enjoy it. I mean, you can literally play as a girl, and that like you're still Commander Shepard. You'll just be a girl instead of a guy, 
And you can alter your face too, and I don't know if it's better for girls, but all I know is when I try, you can you could try to make yourself look like you, but I mean, I tried doing that as a guy, and I just look ugly as shit, so I changed it back. Not because I'm ugly as shit, because I, well, I, uh, <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> point being, so if you wanted to change yourself, you could, but, uh. Yeah, again, I don't exactly know what I'm trying to do with this review. I don't know if it's really a review. I don't think I'm going to call it a review. I think I'm just going to call it Mass Effect, like, talk, discussion, thing. The... So, but it really, it affects, like, your choices that you make affect the game. Not as much as, like, The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us. Or if you've ever played any Telltale game, those games really depend on the choices you make. But in Mass Effect, the choices are kind of small in the first one. In the third game... Like, you literally get to decide if a race, because, like, and somebody made the, there's these, there's these two alien races, and one of them made, like, the, this thing called the genophage, which basically keeps these certain type of aliens from having children, because they think they're too dangerous. And you have a choice between ending this feud and giving them back the chance to have children again, or just lie to them and say you're going to, and then not do it. Like, you're literally making the future of the race, is up to you, so... Anyway, but yeah, it was, it's a really great experience. This isn't really a review. I'm not even going to call it a review when I upload this. It's just going to be Mass Effect discussion thing. If you want to see good discussions, just go look up good discussions. I just, I just want to express how I feel. It's, um, I have felt closer to these people. Like, I love my family, and, but I've never had drama like I've had in this game, which have made me, if I had shit like this happen, that happened in real life, I would damn well not be as well as a brat as I am now. I would be much more respectful to everyone. I should be, and maybe I will just because the game makes me feel like that, but it's just, when you have, like, because I felt in the game those troubles are my troubles, so when stuff's going on, I'm invested. I care, and I don't know, just, I literally felt by the third game, when I had some characters back from the previous games, I cared about them, you know? I'd spent probably over a hundred something hours with all these characters, probably more than that, because take like all the side missions and stuff, you get like 60 hours of gameplay right there just on the just on the one game, so then you do all three of those, it's like a lot, a lot of time spent with these characters. But it is truly one of the greatest game, like series I've ever played, and I can't wait for this new game, Mass Effect Andromeda, and if I learn more about it, I might do more discussions about, like in predictions for the new game, in my other channel, the chunk you're not gonna find it if you look it up. But um, I'm just saying for the two people who are subscribed to that channel, you, you, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just upload it here too. I I don't I don't know. I'll 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 see. But I mean, it was just truly. So yeah, maybe I'll do that for Mass Effect Andromeda and like just think of predictions and stuff that I would like to see. I believe it's going to take place in another uh, galaxy. Because Mass Effect took place in the Milky Way, and since we haven't really gone past our, like, we haven't gone past our solar system, but, you know, there's a bunch of more stuff in the Milky Way galaxy that we have not explored, so that's how they utilize that to make it so it's not, so it's science fiction, but, yeah. Also, I would think a movie would be really good, but you would need a good director, because video game adaptations do not have a good reputation for being good. I still have hopes for Warcraft, though. I think if they do it right... It can make it good. I'm not saying it's going to be good, but I mean, I gotta have some hope that at least one video game movie can be good. I mean, and I like the first Silent Hill. I mean, it wasn't a great movie, but it was, it was okay. But anyway, I'm, I'm going on for this way too long. I do this all the time. This is supposed to be a gaming channel, not, not a d d d talking about random... I'm not talking about random... Ugh. This is why I don't do vlogs that often. I only do that, like, for new subscribers and saying thank you and... Yeah, I'm good at talking with people. I'm not good at talking with myself, trying to talk about a video game. I'm not that good at that. It's my mother's fault. Don't blame me. Anyway, so I think I'm in this here. I've kept... If you're still here, I say congratulations to you. That, that takes some effort to listen to me talk for nine minutes straight. But um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want to go see like an actual review of this game before you decide to buy it yourself, go check out Jeremy Johns. He did a review for one, two, and three, and he did the DLC, or he did the, and then he made a video about the ending where he's all pissed off and shit like I am, and then he talked about the DLC. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. Go check out Finn Shamrock. 
I make a lot of videos with him, and he's really awesome. Go check out Make Anatomy channel because our show that we make, Adventures in Hills, the the next the first episode of the saga is gonna be coming up pretty soon. So you might wanna check that out. Um, yeah. So. That